Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and what a journey this has been. What an amazing journey this has been, working through the November 2021 Paper 1 with you guys. This is our last video in this series of exam preparation, and I want you to really, you know, focus and join in in this specific video about probabilities, about counting principles. So this is Mr. VG, and I am excited to do this video with you. When looking at this specific video, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to write it yourself first. It's not a very difficult one until you hit 12.2.3, where things can become a little bit difficult. So hit the pause button, try it, then you hit the play button, and then you go through it with me. When I look at a question like this, ladies and gentlemen, and they tell me that a teacher has five different poetry books, four different dramas, and three different novels, it means all of these books can be distinguished from one another. So in other words, they are unique elements. So I've got a whole series of videos about unique and non-unique elements that is available on the Junior Turkey um, website or on the YouTube channel as well. So I encourage you, if, you know, to go through those videos. When I look at this, at this sum, I love to draw it out. So they tell me I've got five different poetry books, so I draw it out. I've got four different drama books, I draw it out, and three different novels. She must arrange these 12 books from left to right on a shelf. So the first question is really super simple and straightforward. W write down the probability that a novel will be the first book placed on the shelf. So how many novels do I have to choose from? Well, I've got three. And how many books are there going to be in total? There's 12 to choose from. So 1 over 4 or 0, 0,25. And there's the first question. Remember, it's only worth one mark. So looking at the 12.2.2 is where we start going into metric work. Calculate the number of ways that these 12 books can be placed on the shelf if any book can be placed in any position. Important question, are all of these books distinct? In other words, can they be differentiated from one another? Yes, they can. So if I've got 12 books, it really is as simple as saying 12 factorial. Plonking it in my calculator, that's a whopping 479 million different ways. Now I sometimes understand why ladies and some gentlemen have such difficulties to decide upon what to wear because you've got so many different options of clothes in your you know in your closet no wonder it takes my wife so long to get dressed when i have a look ladies and gents please i'm just joking about this about males and females but it kind of also does make sense but if it offends you, I'm really sorry. It's not my intention to offend you. Let's go on to the actual question. Question 12.2.3. Calculate the probability that a poetry book is placed in the first position. The three novels are placed in the, are placed next to each other and a drama is placed on the in the last position. It does, I, I almost make it sound boring on purpose, but I want you to, to hone in and understand that every single one of these things that they said is very important. So what I'm going to do is let's quickly analyze. So a poetry book is placed in the first position, so I'm going to draw it there, right? And it is set in stone. I cannot go and move that little block. 
next up I'm putting the three novels kind of in a box so I love to draw a little box with the three different novels in there if you want to you can say well that's novel one novel two novel three but again it can be swapped around they didn't say it must be in a specific position pay attention to that ladies and gentlemen then they also tell me that there's a drama book being placed last either drama one two or three or four one of those but then there's a whole bunch of books that's in the middle that I don't actually know what position they are in or what order and I actually don't care. So what I do, and you will see I did that with the red little underlining and the orange underlining, was I actually, I love to tell my students, it's as if I'm placing that book in cement. That book cannot move. And I want to ask myself the question, that first little bit of cement, how many different poetry books do I have to choose from? Well, I've got five. How many drama books do I have to choose from? Four. If I now look at those middle ones, remember that box they didn't say it must be placed in a specific position so that box can move anywhere in the left so how many different options how many different things do i have to choose from or objects in that middle movement the box is one thing then i've got seven other more things to choose from which means if I look at those middle things, the box with the seven other objects, that is, that is eight objects that can be moved. And those eight objects, it, there's no order to it. The very important thing is now, what about inside that box? Don't forget about inside the box. Inside the box, there's three objects that can be moved. Let me just backtrack a little bit before I go to the sun. So don't forget, ladies and gents, about this three factorial. Where does it come from? I've got three novels and I don't know which order they're going to be in. So when I look at actually getting how many different ways this could be, this could be arranged, all of this, I start off with my cement. So first of all, I've got five and four. So five poetry books for the first position and four drama books for the last position. Then those eight objects in the middle, I can arrange in eight factorial different ways. Not just eight ways, eight factorial because they can be arranged in all of those, I could have the box first or second or third or fourth, etc. But also, then I've got to look at inside the box. So I've got to include the three factorial different ways. So that is only the number of ways that this specific event can take place. What event is that? Well, that's the whole event they described. Poetry first, drama last, novels next to one another. But the actual question, ladies and gents, is the probability that this event takes place. I've got to divide this by how many different ways are possible if there's no restrictions at all. If there's no restrictions at all, that's 12 factorial ways that I got from 12.2.2 which means my final answer is 1 over 99 different ways so it's very very close to 0 0.01 or 1 percent so there's not a big chance that this will happen there's like kind of just a 1 percent chance that this will happen 
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video and I encourage you to go and have a look on the Junior Turkey channel. We have so many different amazing videos that covers different scenarios in probabilities. I want you to go and look at those videos because you have no clue. Are they going to ask a word being shuffled, which is talking about identical elements? Or is it going to be one like this? Is it going to be a code that is that they're being shuffled? You don't know. They're going to ask one of those things. So please go on our YouTube channel or the JuniorTiki.online channel. Register, sign yourself in and please, please, please make sure that you check out all the different options of probability questions that are usually asked. So this is Mr. VG signing out. Thank you for walking this road with me. I encourage you. I encourage you to work hard this next four months. Give it all you've got. Uh, you can achieve the marks that you are capable of. So have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. Keep well. Cheers.